part three on keys to healing triggered anger. Part three on keys to healing triggered anger. All right, you guys, um, if you're new to following me, my name is Dawn Churchill. I am a trauma-informed master life coach. I help professional Christian women and a few men <laughs> um, discern and dismantle trauma blocks so that they can live the life of power, purpose, and prosperity that they've always dreamed of. Now, over the past few days, I have done parts one and parts two on dealing with healing triggered anger. And today I'm gonna to do part three. And in this video, I'm also gonna give you an invitation to join me <clears throat> for an in-depth teaching uh, followed by some Q&A tomorrow. All right, so yesterday I made reference to the fact that to heal triggered anger, you have to evict it. You can't try to manage it, that doesn't work. You have to evict it and you have to evict it out of four areas of your life. So you have to evict it out of your thoughts, your thought processes, your core beliefs. You have to evict anger out of your emotions, your emotional responses and reactions and patterns. You have to evict it out of your choices, your will and decisions. And you also have to evict it out of different places in your body, such as your central nervous system, uh, rewiring your brain patterns, and evicting um, anger out of different places in the body where it tends to get nestled at. And so for instance, that is can get nestled in places like your neck and your jaw and your shoulders, but also your buttocks, sometimes your lower back. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about today. All right. So um, today I have three more keys to healing triggered anger, and it's pretty short and sweet, but here it goes. So number one, <clears throat> number one, you have to develop a willingness to learn how to submit your pride and anger to God. If you're going to get free from this mess, you have to be, you have to develop a willingness to learn how, and some of us don't know how, to learn how to submit your pride and anger to God. So let me say this, God loves you. God sees everything and he is a just God and he will avenge you. He knows just how much your heart is filled with pain from past offenses or abuses or other painful moments in life. Um, and so, if you really want to be free of this mess, then you have to be willing to learn the process of submitting your anger and pride to God. All right, number two, you have to be willing to learn how to forgive and release your heart of all bitterness and resentment and holding a record of wrongs against those that have hurt you. In other words, I'm, I, I don't know why I, I uh, <clears throat> sometimes I, I giggle about this because for me, this was such a difficult process at first. But then once I finally learned the keys to doing it, it wasn't very difficult. OK. All right. So you have to develop a willingness to learn how to forgive and release your heart from all bitterness and resentment and holding grudges, holding a record of wrongs against others. OK. So I'm not saying that God wants you to be a doormat. God does not want you to be a doormat. You don't have to forgive people and then allow yourself to be continually abused or mistreated or disrespected, okay? But even so, you still have to develop a willingness to learn how to forgive and get rid of that bitterness, right? All right, and number three, num our third key for today is you have to develop a willingness to spend significant time, effort, and resources to the process of renewing your mind, your will, and your emotions, as well as rewiring your body, your nervous system, and your brain, okay? You have to have a willing, oh, I'm sorry, and then the last one is, you have to have a willingness to repel lesser distractions in order to focus on the process of healing. I say that last one. You have to develop a willingness to repel lesser distractions in, an, uh, in order to focus on the process of healing. All right, you guys. So tomorrow I'm going to begin a three-day event where I'm going to do some short but in-depth teachings on this topic. 
and it's going to be followed by live Q and A. So these are all going to be um, live streaming events, and I want to invite you right now to join me. And so um, whether you join me on LinkedIn, um, and so I'm just going to real quickly give you the details. So LinkedIn, if you'll just go to Dawn Churchill, or I'm going to be a live. Say that again. Streaming live to YouTube, which is also at Dawn Churchill. And then lastly, I'll also, I think we're going to be streaming live to Facebook as well, but that will be my business page, which is called Be Made Whole Inc. Be Made Whole Inc. Okay. Last thing, uh, we are still uh, getting ready to roll out our long awaited program called From Bitter to Better, Transforming an Anger Wired Brain. Now this program, it's going to be released very soon. Uh, but before doing so, I'm still wanting to make sure that I have covered all the bases, that I have covered everything that I need to cover. So if you would be willing to take a really super short, like three minute survey for me, I would be so appreciative. So if you will visit tinyurl.com forward slash short survey for Dawn, tinyurl.com forward slash short survey for Dawn. And in that survey, really, I'm just, my biggest question is, what are your top two burning questions about transforming an anger wired brain and coming out of constant fight flight mode? Okay. All right. So that is pretty much it. I'm really excited to, to do these three days of events and I'm hoping that you will want to follow. Make sure um, that you wait for the little, um, announcement after at the close of this video and i will see you guys this week on monday tuesday and wednesday may let's see it'd be 27 28 and 29 yes and so i can't wait to see you guys have you join me and i'm really excited to answer your, your guys's questions live all right i'll see you guys soon